As a tour guide, I'll show you the most important Munich tourist attractions, must try beer and food, how to save some money, when to visit and where to book a room, how many days to spend, and the best ways to get around the city. And for the best Munich experience, I'll finish with my favorite practical tips and tricks. On the outskirts of Munich is one of the largest royal palaces in Europe, once a summer residence of Bavarian kings. Munich also has the largest inner city palace in Germany. For more than 400 years, it was the seat of Bavarian dukes, electors and kings. Next to the palace is a beautiful square with a boulevard, both commissioned by King Ludwig I. Widely overseen hidden gem is over the top baroque chapel with crazy interior. Munich is also home of BMW and inside futuristic buildings you can visit BMW Museum and BMW World. Next to it is an Olympic Park with one of the highest towers in Europe offering spectacular views. The city center also has one of the biggest city parks in Europe with the second largest beer garden in Munich. Thanks to the park's river that provide constant waves, the city center of Munich also has surfers. Unusual surprise is also a popular summer beach on its river Isar. Also interesting is an endless staircase in the atrium of an office building. Part of Bavarian beer culture are huge beer halls and the most famous ones are in Hofbrauhaus. But the biggest symbol of Munich is its massive 15th century church with twin bell towers and an interesting legend of the devil. The heart of the city is its beautiful main square with town hall decorated by world famous glockenspiel. And from a nearby bell tower, affectionately known as Old Peter, you will get one of the best views of Munich. In Munich, beer is officially classified as food. You should visit Munich's famous beer gardens and try the local beers. The signature drink of Bavarian beer culture is Weissbier or wheat beer, and the one to try is Schneider Weisse. Next popular type of beer is Helles, which simply translates to bright beer. Helles is a traditional German lager produced around Munich, and the one to try is brewed by a brewery with over 650 years of heritage. Agustiner Brau. Here is also traditional, strong dark lager called Dunkel, produced only in Munich. It predates all other beers and is considered as the original Bavarian beer. With traditional beer goes traditional Bavarian food and one of them is a weird looking white sausage called Weisswurst cooked in hot water. Bavarians prefer to eat their famous white sausage with sweet mustard and a pretzel called Brezzo in Munich. These pretzels are soft light and fluffy. But the most quirky Bavarian specialty are pork knuckles, marinated for days and then slow roasted for hours until the skin becomes golden brown and crispy. Having a giant pork knuckle on a plate, or half of it in my case, is definitely a unique experience. Munich was a royal city and is a capital of one of the richest German states. No wonder that it can be quite expensive. So here are a few practical tips to help you save some cash. Like most European cities, Munich also has discount passes. Munich Pass and Munich Card both include unlimited public transport. Munich Pass also includes entrance to all major sites, but to make it worth it, you need to visit at least 5 places in one day. On the other hand, Munich Card offers discounts and it pays off with visiting 3 places in a day. But both tourist passes make little sense on Sundays when all state-run museums have a reduced admission of only 1 euro. Most museums also offer discounts with student or senior card. It's also good to know that museums are closed on Mondays. You can also save some cash by visiting both the Olympic Tower and BMW Museum. At the first site you pay full price, but the ticket can be used at the second site to get a discount. If you visit the Tower first and BMW second, you will save 30% and if you do it other way around, you will only save 10%. You can also save money on food as many Bavarian eateries have set menus between 11 am and 3 pm. They often include a starter, main course, dessert and a drink. These set menus are far cheaper than if you order the same dishes in the evening. But before you start packing, let's check when is the best time to visit Munich. Munich's high tourist season is between June and August. Summer weather is nice and usually not too hot. You can expect a lot of people, but there are also many events worth attending. Late September and early October is the time of famous Oktoberfest. Munich gets packed and accommodation prices reach its peak. Winter is the low season as temperatures descend below freezing with usual snow and frost. Days are short and cold and this is not the best time for sightseeing. 
with arrival of spring and the rise of temperatures, beer gardens and open-air cafes open their businesses. That's why I recommend a trip to Munich from March to May before the summer peak season. And for how many nights should you book a room? Munich is the third largest city in Germany, but its historic city center is quite compact. It depends on how much time you want to spend in museums and huge palaces, but if you rush through, you will be able to see quite a bit of Munich in two full days. But I would rather recommend three full days to also experience beer gardens and local cuisine. With additional days, you can do trips around Munich, like to the spectacular nearby Neuschwanstein Castle, Dachau concentration camp or some other great trips listed in the description below. And where should you book your room? I would recommend the following districts Altstadt Lell, Ludwigsvorstadt and Maxvorstadt. Altstadt or the Old Town includes many of the most important attractions like the main square with the city hall, the cathedral, the residence palace, Hofbrauhaus brewery and many others. This is the very heart of Munich and the best and the most expensive area. Ludwigsvorstadt district expands south of the Old Town between Issa River and the main train station. Great location next to the Old Town also includes the largest fairground in Munich used for famous Oktoberfest. Maxvorstadt district is north of the Old Town and the main train station. Cultural heart of Munich is full of historical buildings, hosting universities, museums, government offices and is also packed with cafes, restaurants and shops. While summer is the high season, the Bavarian capital is full of visitors also for traditional Christmas markets and for Oktoberfest. If you're visiting the famous beer festival, book months in advance and be prepared to pay premium prices. But even if you stay outside recommended neighborhoods, you'll be fine, as Munich has good public transport. Munich's main airport, 22 miles north in the countryside, is connected to the city center by two urban rails or S-Bahn lines. Both the S1 and S8 lines leave every 10 to 20 minutes and take about 45 minutes. Munich also has a huge central train station located just west of the old city center. Train is a popular way to get to Munich as Germany has Europe's best railway system. Once in the city center, tickets and fares are the same, whether you are catching a tram, urban train, bus or metro. Most of public transport network operates daily from 4 am to 1 am. The old town can easily be explored on foot as Munich was one of the first cities in Europe to turn its historic city center into car-free shopping area. There are also plenty of e-scooters to help you move faster around the historic city center. Just make sure you park them in designated parking spots as Germans like things to be in order. To cover larger distances, you can use underground known as U-Bahn. In the city center, U-Bahn and S-Bahn share the same underground lines so you can use them both. On Fridays, Saturdays and nights before public holiday, U-Bahn runs all night. Tram has the longest tradition dating back to the mid-1800s. Besides its 13 regular lines, there are also four nighttime routes that run from 1.30 am to 4.30 am. The extensive bus network is covering most attractions and extends to the outskirts. The most useful bus route for tourists is Line 100, which stops at all Munich's museums. To plan your journeys around Munich, you can use a free app available in the link in the description below. But before I share my favorite tips and tricks, I would like to thank you for smashing thumbs up and for your super thanks support. Munich's drinking water comes directly from the Alpine foothills, so tap water is safe to drink. The city is safe and pickpocketing is much less common in Munich than other large European cities you can use English everywhere. Be aware not to forget to stamp your transport ticket. When entering the U-Bahn station, there are no ticket barriers. Germans are very honest, so make sure you validate the ticket in the blue machine before going downstairs to the station. Daily tickets must be validated before your first ride. When using a bus or tram, you validate the ticket on board. Fine for traveling without a valid ticket is 60 euro. Surprisingly, having cash is a good idea. A lot of restaurants, bars and especially beer gardens will only take cash. When you're ready to pay, a waiter or waitress will come around to settle the bill. Small tips are expected and appreciated. Don't get caught off guard if you stumble upon a nude beach along the city Issa River. Also, you will see people wearing their traditional Bavarian garments regularly around town. In Munich, you can forget about Sunday shopping. 
Bavaria's very Catholic state where Sunday is kept as the traditional day of rest. I hope this video will make your trip to Munich much easier. Also check my favorite Munich tours and tickets in the description below and you'll be ready to go. To learn more about best things to do in Munich, check this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.